everyone, my name is Dan and welcome to Tapas Vision in the magnificent world of Spanish food and wine. Today we are in the cosmopolitan, glamorous, magic city of Barcelona and I'm very happy because we have a date with the culture of bocadillos. For you to get the touch and feel of it, we're going to visit Bar Fidel, where Luis and his team prepare the best bocadillos in town. Then we're going to go to the bakery and do our own super bocadillo at home. Sounds good, looks good, tastes even better. We're in Ferlandina Street 24 and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bar Fidel. In Spain we don't have tea time, we have bocadillos time, which is also called merienda. Especially when the kids are 24-7 active, going early to school, practicing sports, they need backup. So they, their body is telling them, feed me. So Spanish mothers get nice fresh bread, slice it up, put some nice olive oil, some chorizo, some cheese, some ham, and job done. Bar Fidel started like as a bar where they serve drinks for the local people. So how did it develop into the best place to eat bocadillos in Barcelona? In the film, no mes copas, pero poco a poco vamos intentando no algo más o la gente venía, ¿no? La gente aquí venía porque nos tenían todos los días de alguna manera. Y eso creaba un ambiente como la familia. Però nosaltres intentem fer les coses per fer-les bé com ens agraden. Donem lo que voldríem que ens donessin nosaltres. I a partir d'aquí la cosa va anar pujant, pujant i pujant. So, which is the secret of preparing a great bocadillo, then? El secret d'un bon entrepà són principalment la qualitat dels productes que tens que posar. Vull dir, un producte ha de ser bo i gustós per posar-lo. I el seu altre secret importantíssim és el pa. Doncs el que és important és fer-ho al moment i posar-hi tota una sèrie de coses que el que faig és que donin un equilibri al gust, al sabor que agafarà aquest entrepà. Allò que dius, Déu meu, què és això que tu menges amb un... que se't caigui la bava, no? Many marketing experts say there are three keys for success. It's location, location, and location again. So, is this also the case of Bar Fidel? No. Nosaltres no estem en... Estem en un lloc que no és molt... És complicat d'arribar aquí. Hi ha molts llocs al costat. Era un lloc abans molt difícil de vindre i... Però hem tingut que aguantar, doncs... Nosaltres no buscàvem el fer diners. Buscàvem simplement el viure i el fer el que ens agradava. Llavors, per fer-ho, hem de fer-ho molt bé. La gent, a poc a poc, va anar sabent que estava molt bo, un s'ho deia a nosaltres i a poc a poc vam anar venint aquí. Perquè nosaltres estàvem i havíem creat un ambient i tota la gent que venia a creure un ambient i perquè els entretants estàvem molt bons. So, after our exciting visit at Bar Fidel, Lluís told us how to perfect bocadillo. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a bocadillo with anchovies, with some roasted peppers, with leches, and then we're going to do something that's called tapenade with black olives, olive oil, garlic, and a little bit of lemon zest. Check this one out. So, following Luis's advice, we bought fresh bread, which is essential to prepare our bocadillo. Then, we are going to use some of our favorite anchovies from north of Spain, Ola Sagasti. We're going to use some red peppers roasted from Pedro Luis and then we're going to do our tapenade with black olives. We're going to use some lemon and we're going to use some of our favorite olive oil and I have to get my garlic, I forgot. Garlic. These are the ingredients we're going to Prepare the whole thing very quickly. You just need to buy the products and then in a couple of seconds your breakfast or your lunch or dinner. You can even take it for your picnic, to the beach, to the park, whatever. The sandwich is for any occasion. It is the perfect takeaway, guys. Step one, 
slice up your nice fresh bread as I said always careful with these knives sprinkle a little bit of olive oil it is the best companion of all your bocadillos our roasted peppers from Navarra they add the jumminess to your bocadillo instead of using anchovies you could also use nice tuna and we add our red roasted peppers and they will add the jumminess to our sandwich instead of using anchovies you could also use nice tuna we also have we will prepare nice dishes with our tuna soon they cook in the salt there are many ways to cook a product not just the heat you can put it in for example the ceviche in Latin America they cook it in lemon or you can use olive oil to keep your products or you can use other acid products like vinegar there are many ways now we'll get our lettuce to add some crunchiness as we learned in Bar Fidel it's important to find the balance in our sandwich so to prepare our tapenade we need black olives without the seeds empty the water we put it in a bowl with a little bit of the water still we add a pinch of salt a little bit of garlic as I already say it's one of my basic ingredients we will take a tiny bit of lemon zest top it up with some nice olive oil and this is a puree you can use also for example for some nice spaghetti with some parmesan you can use it for a dish of fish in a bigger bowl I misjudged myself sometimes happens and Lince it. On the other side of the bread, put your tapenade. Nice. And I have to go back to Bar Fidel and show you what I invented here. So to enjoy our sandwich today, we're going to have an Alan de Val Mencia from the area of Valdeorras. Valdeorras is in the north of Spain, in the area of Galicia, close to Orense, and Mencia is one of the grapes that will have a lot to say and to talk to and a talk about in the future. They are doing amazing wines, young wines, fresh, you can have them just to have a couple of tapas on a daily basis. You don't have to think about it, it is an informal wine and it has quite a lot of body, I must say, but it is very balanced and keep it in the fridge for half an hour so it is fresh for when you open it and it will go very well with our sandwich you can also take it on your picnic how's the sandwich very nice cheers guys <laughs>